welcome back to the foodie finale of tonight's show where Chef Jerry Clark is serving up some salmon and prawn spaghetti. I don't know why I tripped over that. Maybe it's because it's not what we usually pair with spaghetti, Jerry. I suppose, well, it's actually, funny enough, I was looking for it, linguine. Oh, which is right. like spaghetti but a bit thinner because uh, that goes with seafood really but there was nothing yeah. in the supermarket so I just got that. Ah, because said, is, it, is it linguine because it's flatter, it, it, um, the sauce coats it more, is it? Is that it's the for lighter sauces, linguine, it's a smaller uh, string, mm -hmm. thinner. Ah. Okay. Um, I had this pasta, just put the, put the spaghetti on in boiling water with a bit of salt in kind of a medium boil for about eight minutes, eight to ten minutes. Okay, okay. all right. And so. we start the sauce up. It's all in real time. All in real time. Is that an eight we have, we have half an hour, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Emmerdale will have started, but sure, yes. we won't be on air. Who wants to watch Emmerdale? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she used to watch that as a kid. <laughs> really. Put when it was Emmerdale Farm. Or <laughs> it was Emmerdale Farm <laughs> and the old. And it was always in the farm. Yeah, what were the names again? Yeah. The Sutcliffe, sorry, not Sutcliffe. What was it called? I don't know what they were Sutton's? called. Sutcliffe? Sutcliffe, definitely not Sutcliffe. Sutton's, they're still there. Oh, no, that's right. That's not the Sutcliffe. That's a bad one. That's some sesame oil. Make sure yeah. it is. That's a bad, that's a, <laughs> a double bad, shake. A bad double shake. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's move on. Let's move, move on, on quick. Let's move on quick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that an oriental kind of oil there? Or is it, it is. Is sesame? All oh, right, yeah, okay, lovely. Have a, it's legal. Actually, as you always think, um, spelling your ingredients oh, yeah, hello. is a, a great difference. thing to do. It does, yeah. Mm. Right, what's next? Oh, yeah, straight away. Some Better garlic. Very really tough, Martin. I'm getting a bit nervous, Martin. So close beside me here. Don't Some fresh worry. ginger. I'll step, I'll step away. Go on, why are you teasing? Why are you messing? I love fresh ginger. Mm -hmm. I think it's really nice. And so good for you this time of year, but so is the garlic too. Ah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, really good for us. Keep the bugs at bay. Actually, all the yeah. ingredients in this quite, are quite good. Healthy-ish. Mm -hmm. Well, they are healthy. Yeah, that pasta is kind of a, an egg pasta. It's quite nice. Mm -hmm. Some chilli. See, this is where we're getting the kick. Mm. Yeah. I'll leave the seeds in to get a bit more heat, okay, into it. Right. Nice. You like heat, Rick, yeah? Oh, God, yeah. Hotter the better. Okay. Oh, very, very good, okay. I'll lash more in, so you're sorry you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're sorry you said that. Do you, seeing as you're such a bookworm, do you pick up a cookbook from time to time, Rick? Uh, I don't. I'm terrible at it. I'm very good at taking orders in the kitchen. I've said this before. <laughs> My wife is an incredible cook who tends to not really need cookbooks. She just goes, what's around? That will go with this, which will go with that. You do this, this and this. So I'm just I'm good at taking orders. Jealous. I wish I had that, Mac. <laughs> and they just seem to know exactly what amounts to throw in. I don't, I don't have that gift. What's going on next, Terry? Bit of salmon. It's raw salmon. Just uh, got it at the supermarket today again. It's just, uh, I skinned it, the skin, skin salmon. Just cut it in cubes. Very good. OK. That goes in. Give it, I mean, it doesn't take much cooking. It really doesn't. Salmon can be cooked really quickly. But you've also got some prawns and a few other bits and pieces. Prawns are cooked. Too. Crab claws cooked. And the crab claws. Mussels are fine for this dish. Um, what else? Any, any seafood, really. The prawns are king prawns. They're cooked and peeled. You can buy them raw. Uh, just toss them in. You can just do prawns on their own, salmon mm. on its own. Lovely. Now, all the bits and pieces go in here. All right, let's get them on. Let's get them in, let's get them in. So, uh, about a tablespoon or two of uh, light soy sauce, our dark soy sauce is fine. In that goes. What else have we got here, Martin? I don't know. Fish sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking to see. This is really kind of to your own taste. You want more yeah. fish sauce put in there. Some oyster sauce. Oh, yeah. Ah, you like, you like the, this yeah, flavour? Yeah. Oyster, oyster sauce. sauce. Oyster sauce, yeah. Big time. I think it's this time of year as well, because you tend to be eating a lot of Christmassy food and the turkey's coming out. Going for something like this is actually yeah, a actually lovely change. Yeah, yeah. And a bit of chilli as well. Ch uh, sweet chilli sauce, yeah. OK. Give it a bit more kick. It smells in. amazing. You don't get that through the telly, obviously. Oh, no, you don't. Yes. No. A little bit Technology of... Uh, I'll give you a bit of this in here, just give it a bit of structure of the sauce. A little bit of tomato paste. Yeah. Now, Martin, you're here beside me. Help me here. What else? Oh, so you're going to put me to work now? No, no. Make sure I use all the ingredients. I've often okay. here, Rick, been on here, I, uh, and we've come off the air. I've looked at... I've never used that. No, I didn't... Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. Lime, very important. Why important? To give that nice tang and freshness and lightness to the dish. Okay. And it makes a difference using the lime over a lemon. I think lime is okay too, but lime, I think, lovely, lime, I love lime. More freshing or something. Especially in gin and tonic. Oh. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> well, don't be putting that into your highball glass, please. Now we close right. these in. Prawns going in at the end. Yeah. And, and you have a bit of spinach here too. Yeah. Very good. Martin, see, he's good. He's good to me. Well, you gave me a job. I've no, got I to did. do the I job. Did. I did, I did, I did. I did. Over there. <clears throat> now. Now in goes. 
I want to, yeah, that's perfect. I don't want it too soft here. And this is a, I call this a kind of a spaghetti catcher. Oh, yeah. Oh, Andy. Karen was using it as a hairbrush about 20 oh, minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Waves out nice and loose. Very good, Martin. Uh, by the way, you don't wash off spaghetti or any pasta if you're doing the sauce because it won't stick to, it won't stick to the pasta. I use a bit of the uh, liquid yeah. here as well. Okay. That has to go in here, yes. Martin. Okay. Some baby and, uh, spinach has been washed. And what? No man in goes in last. <laughs> you said anything that was here. I could do. <laughs> some, <laughs> I could do. I'm looking at him there. What's, what's he at? Um, spinach, uh, some chopped coriander. It looks amazing. Doesn't it? Really, it? Really, really does. So do you step away from the cooker on Christmas Day? No. Day, or? I enjoy it. I actually enjoy cooking for the family. Yeah? I have uh, in-laws and outlaws coming up for Christmas Day and great friends, neighbours. So I'll enjoy that. How many yeah. do you cook for? 14 anyway. 14? Yeah, yeah. They're only once... coming from three households, by the way. Just to, just... Oh, yeah, that's our <laughs> But guys, once you um, pre-plan it... Um, let me put it aside now. Do you... Once you pre-plan it and don't uh, overdo things, like yeah. don't do 10 different spuds, 10 different veg. You, know, you don't? So what, what, what's less, your Less is more. I would do two veg, two spuds max, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's ambitious enough. Two different types of spuds, so what do you have? Roast uh, and... Roast and mash. Lovely. It's, it's gas because, you, you know, my sister lives in the UK where they don't serve mash on Christmas Day. Well, we wouldn't have it in our house. Would you have it in yours, Rick? Oh, yeah, 100%. Would you yeah. on Christmas Day? A minimum of two really? kinds of potato, if not three. Oh, God, what would the third be? the croquettes as well. Well, you might get really adventurous and it could be something croquette-based. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, they don't croquettes serve Croquettes are good. The croquettes are kind of ready in advance. Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to get it out now, guys, the hard problem. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make your hook this. I've got Michael Gizmo here now. Fantastic. Okay, guys. Oh, so, so are you saying that you, you do some of your prep the day before, Christmas Eve? Would you? Day before that even. Yeah. Even the day before that, I would. And do you oh, do a on the 23rd. Or a goose, or what do you do? I'm going this year, I'm going to do uh, stuffed um, from McLaughlin's Butchers in Clondalkin, their spectacular company. I'm going to do uh, turkey breasts stuffed and rolled. Just two breasts, and then cook them, have the ham done on Christmas Eve. Because mm. ham doesn't have to be hot, the ham just be glazed and ready. Yeah. So just a few slices of that. And then sprouts. Help me here. Yeah, you said two veg. <laughs> two veg, sprouts, yeah. carrots, and the two spuds, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. And Lovely. this folks have some prawns. Yeah. And maybe this for Stephen's Day or, or in that last week in between uh, new, Christmas and oh, New perfect. Year's, this would be perfect. What's, What's the verdict, Rick? Don't worry, Absolutely I'll sort perfect. myself out in a sec. I, I, I'll just, I'll eat whatever they don't. Mm. I'm the little child that Santa Claus forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that was a I'm song, actually, wasn't it? No, I never taste that. Actually, before I serve it, to nobody taste the food. I don't know what it's like, but I'm sure it's. I'm okay. tasting it's for you. Too bad. It's, it's fine. World is fine. It's lovely. Yeah. It's lovely. It's a happy boy. Really tasty. Thank you, Derek. Yeah. Very tough. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Um, remember, you can catch uh, Derry's full recipe over on the uh, six o'clock show on the Facebook page, or you can give it a rewatch over on YouTube. Just search for VM TV Food. Uh, that's all from us for tonight. Karen's back tomorrow night with Ray in the mm. hot seat. Yeah, he's looking after things. I'll be here very on good. Friday. Uh, when uh, they'll be sitting down with newsreader Eileen Dunn. She's involved in a very special book. Yeah, it's all about GAA. Mm. You'll hear more about that tomorrow at 6. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bye -bye. I'll try and get you a copy, Martin. I'll try and get you a copy. Try and get me a copy. <laughs>